morning. I'm sorry, my vent is a bit loud, but let's have a little chat as I get ready to go to work. But so my room is currently a mess, like messy, messy, messy. In fact, my whole apartment is a mess. And it's a mess because I just moved in recently and I'm not done unpacking and so there's still like boxes and stuff everywhere. It like it's low-key irritating me because I'm like, I wanna be done. But I was in my room this morning and I was getting irritated because I was like walking over stuff and everything. Guys, this vent was so loud. Anyway, I literally like as I was doing that, like God called my heart and he was like, This is life because as much as I am moving in or like I've moved in everything else in my life still remained the same besides like my house obviously I still have to go to work I still have to socialize I still have to like do everything that I was doing before it's just that like now I have to filter in the fact that I moved and so when I get time or when I have extra time I still have to like unpack and tone thing and like when I was in my room honestly I looked at my room and I was like oh my gosh God would use anything to speak to you and it was like God was like, this is like your life. Like when I said yes to Jesus and when I committed to becoming Christian, I instantly thought that all my bad behavior would disappear. Now don't get me wrong, I said yes to Jesus. This is crooked. I said yes to Jesus when I was young. But either way, I thought that like, oh my gosh, everything is gonna like go amazing. And once you say yes, you know, like everything's cleared up. Like life's gonna be smooth. But that's not how it is. It's like similar to how I have to like go room by room, tidy up room by room, piece by piece. It's the same thing and slowly my house is going to be clean and it's the same thing with God or like your relationship and like becoming Christian is that day by day there are going to be things you have to work on and there are going to be things that you have to um, just get rid of and change and even though like you probably still in the same work environment, you still in the same brain group, you still in the, like your life is still the same, the only thing that's different is like you said yes to God. And it's like a big thing because like moving houses is a big thing. I had to prepare for it and like like just like pack and unpack and that whole thing. And so it's similar to like saying yes to God is a big thing. Don't get me wrong, it's a very big thing. But your day to day, like you're still gonna go home to the same house, you're gonna still go home to the same friends, you're still gonna go home to the same things. But every single day as you work on it, slowly but surely it becomes clean and clean and clean. And I think for me this morning, it was, I was trying to have a quiet time and like, I'm in this like funk right now, if you would call it, it was just like a ah space where I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like, there's times where quiet times are amazing. I'm like, Jesus is here, Holy Spirit, full, like I leave, like, yes, let's do it. And there's times I'm just like, God, I'm hitting a brick wall, I'm getting distracted and I still show up because I need to show up. But this morning when I woke up, I saw this courage because I was like, man, time is going, I have to get ready for work and I feel like I just wasted my quiet time or like nothing stuck, I never remember scripture and all and all and all. And then that happened and I was just like, I need to show myself grace and I need to still pull up and still do the work and still like, my hair decent, um, and still pull up and still do what I need to do and do my due diligence. But I just wanted to encourage someone because sometimes you feel like, oh, I missed a day, I missed two days, I missed three days, I'm too far gone and I can't go back to my quiet time. That's not how it is with God. Like my room, I haven't touched it in three days because I've been so busy. And everything is still like a mess and whatever, whatever but guess what tonight i can come back and i can pick up the hangers and then tomorrow i can come back and i can pick up the shoes and then next day i can come back and pick up the plastic bags and then if i don't have time on saturday it's like okay on sunday i can come back and like fold the blankets um and needless to say it's also okay to ask god to help you because yeah because i don't want you i genuinely get irritated when that happens to me but i just wanted to come on here i know it's like almost five minutes and encourage someone uh before i go to work because and also just share it because I know for me it was a oh this part needs to be fixed it was a a big like a hot moment but i hope you guys are having a great day i'm gonna finish doing my hair and i need to go to work